These are my Infiniti 6x9s. I'm currently placing the factory front speakers on my 2006 Dodge Ram. I have the four, uh, four speaker audio system, but I have a five channel amp with a subwoofer installed. And my current speakers I bought were not the best. They're six inch ones I don't really like anymore. So I decided to go with Infinity set just to match my amp. And so hopefully these are gonna sound clear. I'm gonna like them. All right, let's go. It's actually the stock speakers with a Boss 10.1 inch screen and some copyright for music. Here's how it sounds. take off these door panels it's pretty simple there's a screw here screw here and there's two down here and there's gonna be a 10 millimeter socket what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift this up put your socket in and undo it and you should be able just to pop this panel out and make sure you don't forget about the, the panel right here what you're gonna do is you're gonna pinch on these back these blue wires right here on a little clip and you're gonna pull it out it should be super easy just to take this out just make sure you don't bend this right here get this door handle off it's pretty simple you're just gonna lift it up a little bit it should just be a little snake right in real quick should be that many turns. Should be pretty pretty easy. Uh, just a few turns, and then just do the rest by hand. Make sure you don't strip out the whole thing. And you should just be able to pull this off real quick. Just like that. Should be pretty easy. Not that long of a screw. And that's these two pins right here. Line it up for when you need to put it back in. All right, so you just need a kind of a trim panel removal tool or a screwdriver. Be really careful with a screw, screwdriver because you can mark up your finish on your door panels. You don't really want to do that. So go behind here, pinch these two blue clips, kind of just wiggle it out. Should be pretty easy, nothing too hard. And then you can go up here after you got all the screws out. There, two bottom ones, and right here. Just lift them up, lift off. Should look like that. Pretty easy. Sneakers right there. If you have a six by nine adapter, you can use those things from Crutchfield as well. And now you can take out your speaker. And right here, you just have your four screws for your factory 6x9, or you might have screws going in into your adapter if you have aftermarket speakers already installed inside the truck. So just take those out and unclip it from the wiring harness. So this is my aftermarket wiring I added in. Like, I just bought some cheap speaker wire that I ran through the grommet over here. And here's the factory plug. You can unplug it. Or if you're using, uh, not using an amp and using your screw factory speakers, like, well, factory head unit or amp, what you can do is you can go on Crutchfield and get a little adapter to adapt to some aftermarket speakers, or if you just have already amp wiring, you can just plug that in, right? And just have little connectors like that. And now you can replace your speakers. All right, All right so if you have your factory six by nines, these have like a little rubber gasket grommet thing, and you can actually peel this off and you can use it again just to connect, or you can just run the back of your speaker the same exact way but i wouldn't recommend that because that should rattle a lot you don't really want that rattling around in your truck so that would really just mess up the sound of the music in general so try and use that if you can or you don't really need to you can just use foam gasket tape all the way around so so i actually had these on backwards these actually flip around right and so you can use these again these have a little foam gasket that's i'm just dumb so and then you can just screw that out with your four screws. Make sure you connect up your wire or your wiring harness from Crutchfield. And then there should be two little prongs in the back. Just plug those in. That should everything should work. All right, once you have these plugged in and screwed in, just make sure you do a quick sanity check because you don't really want to put it on your door panel and see they don't actually work. Ask me how I know. So let's make sure you check them to make sure your wires, your positive and negative are correct. Now that you got your door panel back on, exact same process, just put your screws back in, handle, make sure you plug these back in, and there you go. And you see, if we compare like these stock six by nines, got a really, really small magnet in comparison to the Infinities. And even the ones I just took out, uh, I'm actually sad I even purchased them, like looking at the magnet size and the overall construction. This one might be built a little bit better, but honestly, they're pretty much the same. But in comparison to the brand new Infinities, I'll go with these every single time. These are just such like higher quality build, and especially because they're a three-way design, they're just overall better no matter what. All right, I just got the passenger Infinity door speaker in, and just really make sure you don't over-tighten those door handles because those really can strip out quite easily. And they're just flimsy plastic in general. Just really make sure, and I just got this in, and I hope you guys are ready for the sound test. 
All right, and this is the exact same song, just with Infinity speakers. All right. definitely just super super impressive like great sound as always from infinity i'm super impressed and would definitely buy those again for the rears all right so it's been around a month now since i installed this those speakers in the last clip they are still great haven't changed in sound at all still sound amazing no no clipping at high volumes uh the bass response is just okay honestly uh i have a sub in my car so that honestly helps a lot with the bass response so I definitely would recommend uh, for you guys to buy these because they're great sounding speakers. And for the price, I bought them for, I think, $115 off Crutchfield on a sale. I think it's usually $140 or so. So honestly, like, if you have blown out speakers in your stock RAM, I'm, I believe they should fit third and fourth and fifth gens as well because they're all 6x9 speakers. So I just have to check on that on Crutchfield. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you'll see some more content coming soon. See you guys later.